Welcome to Form 1 Chemistry Lesson. Topic is Acid Bases and Indicators. Subtopic is Indicators. We start by defining the term indicator. Indicator is defined as a substance that gives a definite color in a basic solution and a different definite color in acidic solution. We have three categories of indicators. We have simple acid base indicator. We have commercial indicators. Then three is universal indicator. We begin by knowing what is a simple acid base indicator. A simple acid base indicator is prepared in the laboratory from flour extract, red cabbage, or beetroot. Now, procedure for preparing a simple acid base indicator is first you need a mortar and pestle, then you need a sheet of solvent, e.g., ethanol and propanol. Now, the most commonly used solvent is propanol because it dissolves a large number of pigments. So, description will be put flour extract in a mortar and crush using a pestle. Add propanol and continue crushing until a deep color solution is obtained. Decant the solution into a beaker. Then test the solution formed in acid, in acid, acidic solution, basic solution, and neutral. Now, disadvantages of using a simple acid base indicator include the color of the flour extract fades, fades after some time. Then it also gives inconsistent results. Now, after that, we look at commercial indicators. Commercial indicators are those indicators manufactured industries for commercial use. It includes methyl orange, phenethylene indicator, litmus paper, both blue and red. Advantage of using commercial indicator over over simple space indicator is it gives consistent results. Sometimes you may be told to give advantage of methyl orange over phenethylene indicator. Now, when using methyl orange, one is able to distinguish between acids and neutral, unlike phenethylene indicator, where it gives you colorless in acid and colorless neutral. Now, next we look at is a universal indicator. Universal indicator is a mixture of several indicators. Advantage of using of universal indicator over commercial indicators is it is it can be used to determine strengths of acid and a base because it gives a wide range of colors depending on the strength of acid and a base. For a student to determine the pH of a solution or a solid sample, you require two things. You require a universal indicator and a pH chart. For example, if you're told explain how you can determine pH of ammonia, you will say add two three drops of universal indicator into the sample solution of ammonia. Then compare the color obtained on a pH chart. Now ammonia being a wood base, it gives a pH of nine, nine or eight. Told to determine the pH of a solid sample, e.g., and the acid tablet. The first thing you're supposed to do, first of all, is to crush the anti acid tablet into powder, add water, dissolve it, then add two, three drops of universal indicator into the solution obtained, then compare the color obtained on a pH chart. Now, universal, uh, the anti acid tablet being a weak base will give you a pH between 8 and 9. Next, we have what they call a pH scale. A pH scale has numbers ranging from 1 to 14. Now, each of the number has a color. Therefore, when you're adding the inverse indicator into a solution, you'll be required to compare the color of the pH scale. pH 1.0 to 3.5 is for strong acids. Strong acids include dilute sulfuric acid, dilute hydrochloric acid, and dilute nitric fiber acid. 3.5 6.5 is weak acid, which includes rainwater, carbonic acid, lactic acid, vinegar, ethanoic acid, etc. 7 is neutral, which includes distilled water, uh, a salt solution. pH 7.5 to 10.5 is weak base, 
which include ammonia, soda ash, wood ash, limestone, acid tablets, colgate, then 10.5 to 14.0 is strong base which include sodium hydroxide and ammonia. That is the end of the topic because we have done acids, bases and indicators. The next lesson we're going to look at air and combustion. Subscribe and share.